I'm actually going to say what George says about it, which is it's a celebration and an exorcism of our culture. Um, you know, it's in the extremes. It's extremely funny. You know, like double over funny, while simultaneously educating every single person who sees it. It's really exciting. It's a piece that hasn't been done in a long time. And I feel like this is the right time to do it. With all of the stuff that's sort of going on, with race relations, with Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, all of this stuff is going on right now. It's so fertile, and this play is a sounding board for that. It is a perfect time to do it. It's needed. It's so much needed to, to make people feel a little uncomfortable or to help them start thinking about something socially or emotionally uh, to deal with. Um, and that's what I love about it. But we're having a lot, a lot of fun. Um, I'm grateful that we're getting work done because we are laughing so much at all times. I will be laughing because I can't stop laughing. Like the more grotesque and the more severely honest it is, the harder I laugh. <laughs> oh God. I think audiences should come primarily to be entertained. It is going to be a fun night of theater. Come see the show and then go have a cup of coffee <laughs> and discuss it. I think there's a lot there, you know? And ultimately, if you don't have anything to discuss, perhaps you will just say, oh, that was a fun show. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, think, I think you should just come. <laughs> I think one of the greatest gifts of comedy and satire and anything that has, that you can laugh at you know, the gift of those things is that the narrative behind it can be complicated because people are more willing to receive the hard stuff and the tough stuff when they can laugh about it. And I think that's what's so brilliant about this piece.